Hi again, Laura here. Okay, so what about those paper towels? So let's talk about that. So in my house, I have not bought any paper towels for several months. We, this roll right here has been on that for about two months now. I have not replaced it. Um, and the reason why is because of Norwex. I'm not, we're not using the paper towels like we did in the past. I would normally probably use one roll a week, maybe, um, probably. And when I started thinking about that and then learning what's actually in paper towels and how they process, and then all the trees that are kill, killed, <laughs> chopped down because of them, 51,000 trees each day are cut down for our paper towel addiction in North America. To me, that's too much. That's crazy. And um, makes me stop and think, it's like, what are we doing to our future? What are we doing to our world by doing that? So, um, using Norex, I can reduce the amount of paper towels. We did have um, a dog, an older dog, that we did have to put down in November. Um, she was 17 years old and she would have accidents. And so we basically kept the paper towels mainly for her because of her accidents. And um, now it's like I have these actually hidden um, under the cabinet, so it makes it harder to use. I have to, you know, do a little bit more work to go and get them, um, and my husband too. So he, he doesn't get them as much either. Um, before he was, where's my paper towels? I want my paper towels. So, but he's learning. So when I first started using this, I actually had my stormtrooper. We like Star Wars. And so my stormtrooper would sit on the paper towels and try to remind us not to grab them. Um, so anyway, that's, that's one kind of trick that we did is, you know, to do something to make us stop and think before we reach for them. And now they're in a place where it's a little harder to get to and it helps us out. So one of the things I wanted to, to, to say is in the paper towels, one of the things that they sometimes put is bleach. They put formaldehyde. Um, in it. Um, there's all kinds of other chemicals that they use in order to make these. So you need to stop and think that, you know, you're using these for your food and stuff like that. And whatever is on that can possibly go into your food. So just stop and think about that kind of stuff. So what are we going to do to replace these? And then you got to think of the cost too. It's a one use thing and then you throw it away, it goes in the landfill. And you're paying for that. So, you know, if you get a big six pack roll for, what, $10, $6, um, that only lasts you um, a week. You know, it's, think of two years worth of that. That's what you need to stop and think. And then think about the alternatives that Norwex gives you. So, the first thing that we can use to use instead of paper towels would actually be the EnviroCloth. The EnviroCloth is in the Safe Haven 5. It does have this kind of weave to it. This is one of our new colors. Um, and it will, it's super, super dense and it will pick up a lot of mess for you. Um, when we use it, we fold it in force so we always have eight clean sides and you can do your thing, keep it flat. So the microfibers, and we've already talked about the microfibers, the microfiber with the, the wheel spokes can actually pick up the germs and the bacteria and the grime and stuff like that and pick it up the right way. So super absorbent, um, it's awesome. So that's one thing that you can use instead of paper towels. Another thing that um, we have is we have the kitchen cloth. It's this big. It's a little bit longer than a regular kitchen cloth. 
Um, it has a little bit different, it has more grooves in it than the Enviro cloth, you can see. So if I, have, if I see that I have bigger crumbs, I'm going to get this because this will pick up the crumbs a little bit better than this one, okay? So you have the cloth, but then you have the towel that goes with it. So same thing, it has the grooves like that, and it will pick up the bigger um, pieces. So with my towel, this is what I usually use to dry my hands or dishes and stuff like that. That's what I use this for. To wipe my counters, I would use this or my Enviro cloth. Okay, so that's your kitchen cloth and kitchen towel. That's That would replace the paper towels. They also have a, a textured cloth and towel now in a turquoise and then an amethyst color. So it's like a basket weave on one side and then the other side is like the Enviro cloth. But I got one of these cloths as a hostess reward or something and I really, really like it. So I went ahead and got another one and the towel that goes with it. So those are the textured ones. Love them. Um, then you need to clean your windows, okay? Um, window spray, paper towel, or your mirrors, right? That's what we usually do, not anymore. So we have, you would use your Enviro cloth to get off the grime and the dirt and the smudges and stuff like that with your uh, damp Enviro cloth. And then you go through with your window cloth, this is the new one, and shine up that mirror, shine up the glass, and it really, 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 really does work. So you can get rid of those paper towels and the um, <clears throat> window spray. Okay, I am cooking pizza, and there's grime and pizza dough and flour that's gotten wet. It's kind of sticky and, and like glue you can use the Enviro scrub. So on one side is your Enviro cloth, the other side is kind of scratchy, and then you can um, get this wet, use the scrubby side to get off the, the, stick, the stuck on stuff, use this on your stove, your oven, your anything that's really stuck on and gross, you could use this side and then wipe it away with this side, okay? Get rid of the paper towels. You drop some, um, an egg. What you're gonna use? Don't reach for the paper towels. We have a netted dishcloth. We don't have the blue one anymore available, but we do have a gray one. And anyway, you would kind of smash it up you have an egg, you just kind of grab it and then throw it in the trash um, or garbage disposal. If you have peelings, you can put this in the bottom of your sink, put the peelings on top, grab the four corners, and then go throw it in the trash or compost pile, pile whatever you need to do. Um, you can use this for a strainer for your um, berries that you're going to wash. So. Put this in a bowl, put your berries on top, put the water. We have a fresh produce wash that really does do a great job cleaning your produce before you eat it. And let it soak for a little bit, pull up on the four corners, and um, then, uh, then you do, you know, rinse it out kind of like a strainer, and then you go from there, okay? so. That's one thing you do with the netted dishcloth and you don't have to use the paper towels, okay? Then, one of the things that they came out last year with is the counter cloths. And it can come in a little box set like this with six, I've already used, um, what, two of them. And these, um, they come in different colors. You can buy them in a pack of three 
or you can buy them in a box set like um, that. There's all different colors. So I, you, Todd and I use this as a napkin. We use it um, to clean up small spills and that kind of thing. So one of the demos that I wanted to do is I have a third cup right here and I am going to soak up that third cup of water. And it's gone. There's like a one or two little drops. It's done. So, in here, I have another third cup of water, and I have the select size. So let's count and see how many it takes to do the same thing that the countercloth just did. So there's one. This is another reason I still have paper towels. Two. Three, oops, four, five, six. Let's say six. So six of the um, select a size paper towels versus one counter cloth. You do the math. Okay, so that's those are things that you can do to replace those paper towels. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of these products, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer those. Bye bye.